What's going on? Why was I in that coffin? That's the coffin I woke up in. Why was I in there? It's too heavy to move. The surface is warm. There's a slight vibration. The wires look like they're not connected properly. There. I've connected the wires together. The panel seems to be working now. What the hell is going on? I'm in space! It looks like there's a way out. It seems to be some kind of navigation console. It must control the station somehow. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I'll need to find some way to power it up. I'm sure this controls some sort of cradle system that elevates part of the station. Why do I know that? It doesn't seem to have any power. It's an ID card scanner for the gate. I'll need to use an ID card with it. This gate's stopping me from getting in the storeroom. It seems pretty sturdy. Soiled lab coat. It looks like there's something in the pocket. There's a blank ID card and some kind of override key in the pocket. There's nothing else in the coat and it smells like it's smeared with feces or something, so I think I'll leave it. like a unit designed to provide backup power to certain systems. It's blank, unlike the slots in the other modules. It's already online. That's one relief. It looks like a slot for some kind of key. It's a communications console. It looks like someone was trying to send out an SOS message, but it wasn't transmitted. According to this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the droid software. This just looks like promotional spam for some concert. The message is asking for information about a missing ship. It's a DNA encoder, used to store data on ID cards. It's some kind of compartment. It's warning this might be dangerous. I'm not sure messing with this is a good idea.
This should control the table. It's just a cupboard. Oh shit! That, that's someone's arm! What the hell is going on here? A standard video disc. It's a severed arm! What happened to the rest of the body? This food stinks. It's all gone moldy. I'm not touching that. Who knows what I might catch? No thanks. I doubt I'd ever be quite that hungry. It's a sealed lunchbox. Are those grapes inside? Use junk food wrappers. They're covered in dirt. I don't need to carry garbage around with me. If I understand correctly, it's a fizzy drink. A strong metal box. It looks sealed. A large fire extinguisher. This is replacement lab technician Arthur Anderson making my first judging report. I've been here a week and things haven't been as I expected. They keep me working in the upper lab doing routine sample analyses. It's a waste of my time, but they don't want me to go into the main lab chamber. I told Commander Artemis Trent that I hadn't traveled all this way to do monkey work, but he wasn't interested. The work wouldn't be so bad were it not for the tension on board. Everyone is keeping to themselves, and no one wants to talk much. They're quick to dismiss any talk about what happened to my predecessor, or what it is they're working on down there. One thing I'm sure of is that they really don't want me here. Only Professor Erickson is remotely hospitable towards me. But even she's evasive. At least she's kind to me, though. Something is definitely going on here. They're scared of something. I've heard them calling the main lab the White Chamber. I don't know why, since I'm not allowed in there. Goodwin and Wiles hate going anywhere near it. I've seen Goodwin go in a couple of times when they've needed him, but always briefly and reluctantly. I'll keep investigating, but I don't want to push them too hard. The atmosphere around here is tense enough as it is. This controls the shower and toilet compartment. It's not responding. So that's me. Not bad, considering... A warm-looking blanket. There are real trees, all right, but how is that possible? I can't make a path through. The trees are too dense. This really looks like the sea. What's going on? This feels like real water. I don't understand how any of this is possible. I was on a space station. Maybe I could swim away from here, but it doesn't look like there's anything around to swim to.
space? What the hell? Where did the beach go? I don't want to go back out there. I barely survived last time. of bloody and rusted lab instruments. They've rusted to the surface. I doubt they'd be of much use in that state anyway. I recognize this. It's a 7777 Zentradi series proto-analyzer. I'd need some kind of sample dish to use with it. The seal on the door has been welded shut. I wonder why. I'm going to need something really powerful to get through this door. Someone has jammed an axe in the lift control panel. This looks like an old projector system. I think it's connected to that old video player. This looks like antique equipment. It's for playing videotapes. Recorded video disc. A handwritten note. Weird. Most people use computers nowadays. It's a standard pre recorded video disc. Microcosm disc, eh? That's quality for you. It's a note I found. It says, patience while you grill bacon rind. That's rather strange. I wonder what it means. It's a reddish can of fizzy drink. spent the night searching the station to no avail. Even the life pod is still docked. With no answers to this mystery, everyone is reaching breaking point. Even I'm starting to feel just as paranoid and tense as the rest of them. I think at this point it's becoming just a question of who will snap under the pressure first. I strongly urge you to send a new team here. If these guys don't get away from this place, I fear things are only going to get worse. No one trusts anyone anymore. They're particularly suspicious of me, as I'm the new arrival. Even Sarah, I mean, Professor Erickson, is growing more wary of talking to me. She's been spending more and more of her time down in the White Chamber. I know it's not scientific, but when I look in her eyes, she seems lost somehow. I had a drink with Dr. Goodman. It's the first time he's really talked to me properly since I arrived. Though what he said made little sense. He 
he's convinced Wiles was taken by the Apparently, Wiles wanted to get rid of it. Since my last report, I've overheard mention of the artifact several times. Their opinions on it seem mixed and conflicting. This all worries me. Again, I urge you, please send a relief crew as soon as possible. It's a DNA encoder, used to store data on ID cards. It's marked as being a droid control console. It's a medical laser. There's a compartment under the laser unit. It's a filing cabinet. Most of these drawers are locked. There doesn't seem to be any obvious way to unlock them. The seal on this drawer is broken. brown envelope with something inside. There's something in the package. There was a video cassette inside. It's a bed with body-shaped burn marks across it. I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. voice control panel that operates the quarantine chamber. It'll only respond to the voice of an authorized doctor. I'll never get this working. die in here? Keep that bloody thing away from me! A decapitated body. It's crucified upside down. Am I in hell? I'm glad there's a fence keeping it away from me.
someone trapped in there. I can only break the chamber open. It's too strong to break by hand. Damn, the chamber must be reinforced. This is the control for the emergency tank cleansing system. me. do anything without a video cassette. They're the batteries from the video. That was horrible. A medical scalpel. Some kind of tissue sample in an airtight dish. There's a label on it. Some kind of tissue sample in an airtight dish. The label says Commander Trend. I hear these things are hard to find. I recognize this. The tissue has been extracted specially to store a clean sample of DNA. There's a horrible smell coming from that fridge. I feel sick. This chain is holding up that strange fridge. That might bring the fridge down, but it'd smell worse on the floor. I'd rather find a way to dispose of it before cutting it down.
This controls the shower and toilet compartment. Is that? Oh, come on, don't tell me that's hair in there. A severed head? Is this thing still alive? What the hell am I even thinking? Severed head. The eyes have been ripped out. The stench is getting worse and worse. I feel like puking. This should control the table. What the hell is that? That's gross. I don't know where it leads and I don't want to know. Something's jamming it. That fridge isn't going anywhere with that mangled body jammed in there. I wish I'd left it up there now. There's a compartment under the... The laser should be powered now. Seems to fit perfectly on there. It's a DNA encoder, used to store data on ID cards. Done. Now I just need to put in the card to be programmed. That should have written the sample data onto the card. This console is used as some kind of analyzer. It's warning this might be dangerous. I'm not sure messing with this is a good idea. I'll need something sharper to cut this. stains on the floor. On the wall, too. They look like blood. Whatever they are, they feel encrusted into the surface. What happened here?
canister of high explosive. It's a retro video gaming magazine. screen attached to that old console. I can't make out the image. I doubt I could get it down from there without breaking it. An MES. It's a really old video gaming console. I don't really have time to play games. I don't want to. Those old games are really stupid. They just go on and on until you die or throw the pad at the wall. I guess I can have a quick look. What harm can it do? What the hell is going on? Don't tell me this is inside the game. The door is closed. It's the freezer door. I can't see the handle, it's too pixelated. The MES console I'm playing. I can't make out the buttons to switch it off. They are explosives. They look dangerous. Cannot carry any more items. together. I'm back. I don't even want to know what happened there. Not again. Not after last time. This big door must lead to the freezer. beyond words. It looks like a body is trapped under that sheet. I hope for his sake he's already dead. What is this made of? It doesn't feel like plastic. There's a leg sticking out from under whatever the hell that is. If I want the leg, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Great. Now I've got a severed leg.
Damn, it looks like it's welded shut. Even the axe can't break a box this strong. It's welded shut. I'm more likely to break the scalpel than the box. The laser cut through the seal in the box. I hope it hasn't damaged the contents, whatever they are. The laser cut the box open nicely. That's disgusting! What kind of sick bastard seals eyes into a box? Welded shut so I can't get through. There. Now if I could find some way to ignite this. It's a bed with body-shaped burn marks across it. Complete. Nothing's happening. I guess I don't know what I expected. What is this place doing to me? Why did I bring all these body parts here? Well, it's all there. But I don't even know why I was doing it in the first place. He looks so cold. The bed's kind of occupied already. There. I guess that seems more respectful. He seems less disturbing with the blanket over him. Maybe I should leave him in peace. The be it won't work with the mirror in place. Those body parts, how did they get in there? I'm trapped! It's a standard shower unit. I think it's broken. I can't get it to open.
There's something etched in the dirt. this recording just in case someone finds it. Not that it'll do any good. I hope someone watches this. I want people to know what happened here. I found out the commander intercepted my last two reports. I confronted him about it, but he's convinced I'm an agent working for Cyclovir Hypercorp. I argued with him, but thinks he's being generous enough by not just spacing me the moment he found out I was sending reports back. I tried to explain that the company had just asked me to submit observations, but he wasn't having any of it. I suppose I can't really blame him. But none of that matters now. I'll be lucky if I'm alive much longer. Dr. Goodman is dead. Sarah found him chewed up in the main ventilation system. Everyone knows it wasn't an accident. We're being killed out here. Inevitably, they turned on me. Trent thinks it all started when I came on board. They've locked me here in the quarantine chamber. I think they're sealing off the vent room. I'm not sure what they think that will achieve. I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared and alone. I don't know if one of them is a murderer or if that damned artifact is responsible for all of this. Either way, I no longer care. I just want to get off this cursed station. I found a way to open the quarantine seam, and I'll be heading for the life pod. I don't know if I'll make it, so I'm leaving this final recording as a record of what happened here. To whoever finds this, good luck. This device is performing a deep structural analysis. It doesn't seem to be producing any solid results. This machine seems to be monitoring any output from the artifact. There seem to be some very strange radiation readings coming from the artifact. His face. Poor guy! What the hell happened to him? Hello, Sarah. So, here we are again. The situations are now reversed, it seems. As I recall, last time it was me trapped in there, hoping for mercy. I cared for you. I fell for your false smiles. And for that, the mess on the floor there is what I've become. Are you beginning to understand now, Sarah? What you did to me. What you did to all of us. The price we paid for your obsession with its power. 
At least I can say that I did what you failed to. The artifact responded to me. My blood, my hatred, and my desire for retribution activated it. I unleashed the power you killed for! And now we're both trapped here in this cursed cycle. An eternal nightmare continuing endlessly until you've earned salvation. I stand as your judge, and I have looked into your soul. You were given another chance to perhaps redeem your actions. Given this clean slate, did you demonstrate compassion and regret? Or once again, have you just shown a selfish drive towards your goal? While we reach a verdict, you shall remember. Remember what you did to me. It is done. We have come full circle back to where this starts and ends. We have made our decision. All that is left is for you to leave. Now. The life pod in the storeroom has been unsealed, and inside you will find our decree. On your way, you shall remember it all. What you did to deserve this. I have changed the orbit of the station. It will crash into the nearby planet within an hour. Goodbye, Sarah. I hope we never have to meet again. I did this. I killed him. I released a toxin in here and watched him die. He was the only one left, and by that point, it seemed so easy to end his life. He's still warm. I can't move him. It's like his blood is fused in the artifact. I can't believe that I really did this. So this is it. This is the artifact. I don't know what to say. It's warm and vibrating. It doesn't feel like a machine. Dr. Goodwin into the fan. I didn't even need to do it, but I felt sure he was on to me. He kept asking the commander to eject the artifact. After what I did to Goodwin, I'd be a fool to get any closer. Arthur left at that point. He didn't trust the spy, but he didn't believe he was the killer. I think he saw it in my eyes, so I took his. I don't want to look inside. Dick Lee was the first. He was my research assistant. 
He thought the artifact was too dangerous for us to work on alone. We were arguing because he wanted a support team. I told him we could handle it. I didn't mean to. I knew they'd never understand. I couldn't face seeing his remains if they're still in there. when I got to him. It was obvious he'd found Dick's body in the nav console by how he was acting. Dick had been in an accident, so I guess this is when things went out of control. I was so trapped. All I could think about was the damn artifact. It's too late now. I don't want to see what's under there.